Vernon and Petunia. Welcome back to Family Tanks. I'm Zaysha. I'm Scott. And we'll be interviewing our frog tank. We're going to be interviewing all frogs. No. Let's do a frog update. What do you say? Let's do it. All right, it. let's show everybody some close-ups so we can see what's going on in the frog kingdom. So, here are our froggies, Vernon and Petunia. Vernon and Petunia, no, it's right? That's the opposite. That's Petunia. Sorry, Vernon? Yes. And Petunia. Yes. I honestly don't know how you tell the difference. I can. I'm very <laughs> smart. One is not like the other. One frog is not like the other. Ooh, they, they look the same to me. Patterns, and you see on their head, one has a big, like, spot. Yeah, one of them has, like, a little, like, little, little divot. Yes. Either way, they're cute. Yes. So, yes, this is our vivarium. It's been running for, it's been running for about a year. It's had frogs in it for about 10 months now. Well, right? Jenny wants to say hello. Ginny. And then there's Ginny, our resident frog hunter. But let's stay on the frogs here for a little yes. bit. So we just figured it would be a good time to give an update on the froggage and show what's going on. So, Zosha, why don't you, um, you know, tell people some of what you find interesting, what happened in the last uh, almost year. So, I don't know why I think this, but the pond looks like, big, it looks like way bigger to me. Like, it looks deeper. Which one, the pond? Yes. Yeah, because you know what happened? You see all these vines all over the place? All these little green leaves? Oh, that's That really is nice. hydroponica, or hydrocodal japonica, which is actually usually sold as an aquarium plant. Well. And I stuck it in there, and it has gone absolutely haywire, and I love it because it looks amazing. But I think that makes the pond look deeper than it is. I know. But, you know, the frogs don't really hang out in the pond. They'll occasionally splash in it. Or but fall over into yeah, it or or, the glass. Or, yeah, they, they try to climb the glass and kind of splash into the pond. But, um, yeah, it's doing, it's doing really well. So, as you can see, the japonica's grown like mad. The... Um, Rabbit's foot fern, which are these, well, ferns in the back. It wasn't doing so well for a while, but now it's actually like had like so many areas grown over. Exactly. It There's a couple of brown leaves, but you can see like the root system, which are like those fuzzy looking things in the back. Those fuzzy little like look like ropes. That's all part of their uh, rhizome. It's not really root system, but it's a rhizome. Those have done really well. Other plants haven't done as well, like uh, the parlor palm over here. It's done okay as you can see by its color i mean not nutty i think it's too wet for it i think it is too but it is still growing you see the small leaves down oh yeah it keeps putting off new shoots and it's hanging in there but it's just it hasn't grown too much another one not as good looking is this one right here i'm not sure the name but it's looking very whiter yeah i don't remember what this one's called um I, we can reference it in an earlier video i looked <laughs> it up for one of our earlier videos i don't remember either and it's doing okay it's actually stabilizing a little bit Another thing, too, is we put in um, weaving moss. You can see little bits of it sticking out there. Yeah. Sticking out there. It's kind of covered by the japonica. But it is growing. It's happy where it is, which is kind of cool. And now another thing which is very cool, if you look on this back wall here, I'm going to try to get this without a glare, you can see two or three different kinds of moss growing. Do you remember how we got that in there, Zosha? I remember we got like a moss spread. We, we got the moss slurry. Yeah, yeah. We, it wasn't doing well for like... Five months. You didn't even know this. And now, yeah. Whoa, and all of a sudden, is. we have all these different kinds of moss growing, which is actually really cool. So I forgot where we got it. I want to say it was Josh's frogs. It was New England. New um, England reptiles. Nerpticulture, herpticulture, something or another. Yes, but we got their moss slurry, which essentially they take a bunch of different species of moss. Uh, that's been sanitized or at least grown in a lab and then they blend it all up and then sell you this cup of moss sludge Yeah, we we're like it's not gonna grow and then you paint oh, it wow. on some surfaces And then whatever seems to like the conditions of where it sits grows and we've actually got some pretty cool stuff going on now and I also observed this So you see this vine plant right here. Yeah, that's a um, uh, Ficus of some sort. It gets, it's green then into, I think it likes to shade better because if you can see behind. Yeah, uh, you're right. Foot, the parts greener, and then right in the sun area, it's all yellow. It gets yellower. That's a really good observation, Josh. I didn't even notice that, but you're right. Maybe it's getting too oh, much light. Danny and Vernon are like. Are they just chilling? Frog. They're such a beautiful frog. They really are. Dark frogs are rad. But another thing which is fun is this bromeliad up here. We bought one, and we have one, the original, two, three and four so it has actually put off three different pups 
And my favorite one, bromeliad, is down. Is that really? Me one? too. Yeah, that's a bromeliad. That's a and terrestrial bright, bromeliad. Right. Color and its color is fantastic. So whatever we have going on here is definitely just right for that species, for sure. Well, I think I have an all-in-one review that says the japonica did the best. Yeah, the japonica's it's gone nuts. It's a aquarium nuts. plant, and it's doing it on land, and it's, oh, there you go. There's well, here's a little tidbit, Zosha. A no, lot of aquarium, aquarium plants are actually terrestrial? typically what they're, what they're called as immersed, where they grow in their natural environment partially submerged by water. And what they've done is they've put root systems down into the drainage layer. And it's probably like spreading. And deeper. they're just happy as can be. Yep. Well, I'm very happy with the frog tank right now. And the frogs look like they are too. Totally. So when we build our next froggy uh, habitat here, because we're going to go big here before too long, and check out our video on helping us decide which direction to go. Make sure to choose me. Yeah, make sure to leave a comment <laughs> and choose which, whichever idea you'd like to see us yes. do. But, um... We are going to keep this one running. There's awesome. no reason for us to not keep this tank running. We'll just create another inhabitant for it somehow. Actually, I'd like to make a fun fact about our tank. Sure. So do you see this log stuck to the back right here? Yes. It's actually empty and we were going to put like a rainwater faucet through it. Yeah, we were going to do the fog. Oh, yeah. We could still do that. We it's, don't need fog though. We do not need it. We already get it. No, I know. It, it, it keeps its humidity just fine. We never got around to doing that. But, you know, we actually had a comment that said, well, will every uh, review the Reptifogger, the Zoomed Reptifogger, and um, maybe we will. Who knows? Maybe we'll build that into our new build or something like that. We should try it. But since this is up and running, we're definitely going to keep this up and running. But yeah, so um, we already, We've learned so much from this tank. Absolutely. That, this stuff works well. Hey Zosha, let me ask you. Yes. What have we figured out about our frogs? Like for instance, their name are Vernon and Petunia, but what is potentially wrong about the names we picked? Um, because we think they're both girls. They're either both girls or both boys, but I think both girls. And why do we think that? Um, uh, What's the primary reason? What, what have neither of them ever done? A chirp. Yep, neither of them have ever called. I have never heard either of these call. call. So I have a feeling we have two females here. Vernon's but they like, get along. It's ladies come. night. It's ladies night in Frog Kingdom. And Vernon's like, my name sucks. So we're not positive. No, no, that's there's nothing wrong with a girl named Vernon. No, there is nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. But anyway, that is sort of the lowdown on the frogdom, the frog kingdom. And we have been having so much fun with this. And we just thought we'd show you a little, some close up, show the frogs, what's been going on, how much it's grown. And um, we can't wait to get into our new build, right? Yes. So what do you tell everybody, Zosha? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, like this video, and put on notifications. Absolutely. Subscribing to our channel is free to you. Subscribing. <laughs> Subscribing to our channel is free to you, but it really, really helps give us a boost and keep doing this stuff. And we love it and we love sharing it with you and we love your comments. So keep it up and we will catch you next time. Catch you next time. And we really love when you guys subscribe. Yep. Subscribe. Subscribe. We're very happy. Bye, y'all. Ribbit. Ribbit. Oh, wait. Dark frogs don't go ribbit. They go, cheese.